Dear friends, welcome back again. This video is made in inspiration of Real N400 interview for U.S. citizenship test, and only for educational purposes. We would like to sincerely apologize for any unintended similarities that may exist between the content of this video, like names, dates, addresses, numbers, etc. We upload videos of real life experiences of naturalization interview regularly. Please subscribe and turn on the bell to all notification for all updated videos. If you have any question or need more elaboration, please feel free to write us in the comment box. Let's jump into the video. Alma Mendoza? Yes. That's me. Hi, I am Officer Pierre Richard, and I will conduct your naturalization interview today. Oh that's great. Thank you Officer. Please follow me. How are you doing today? I'm good. But just a bit nervous before coming here. Don't be nervous, you will be fine. Thank you, officer. Can I have your appointment letter, passport, green card, and ID? Sure. Here you go. Thank you very much. How long did it take you to get here? It took 30 minutes to get here. Please put your things beside your chair and have a seat. Thank you, officer. How long have you been waiting for me? I have been waiting for about one hour. I am sorry to have kept you waiting. No worries, officer. Do you understand why you are here today? Yes, I am here for my citizenship interview. How are you eligible to become a United States citizen? I have been a lawful permanent resident for over five years. Did you come here voluntarily? Yes, I did. I've been looking forward to this day. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Because I believe in the form of government and want to vote. How was the traffic today? Not too bad. Are you ready for your interview? Yes, officer, I am ready. Do you feel well prepared for your interview today? Yes, I do. That's great. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't. Do you need to use the restroom before we start? No, I am fine, thank you for asking. Do you have any physical disability or mental impairment? No. Okay. If you do not understand any question, feel free to ask me to repeat it. Okay. Did you have any trouble finding our building? No, officer. It was quite easy. Before the interview, I will place you under oath. Will you please stand up and rise your right hand? Do you solemnly affirm that the statements you are about to make will be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Please put down your hand and take a seat. Thank you, officer. Do you know what you just promised? Yes, officer. I promise to tell the truth. Do you know what take an oath means? It's a public promise that I have to do truthfully. 
Please let me know if any of your answers have changed since submitting your application. Sure. What is name exactly as it appears on your permanent resident card? Alma Mendoza. Please spell your last name. M E N D O Z A. What is your current legal name? Alma Mendoza. Have you used any other name since your birth? No. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No. What country were you born in? I was born in the Philippines. How many years have you lived at your current home address? I have been living at the same address since I became a lawful permanent resident. Do you want to change your name legally? No. Has your address changed since you've submitted your application? No. Can you please verify your date of birth? It's September 2, 1996. Can you verify your social security number, please? 173180101. On what date did you become a permanent resident? I became a lawful permanent resident on November 5, 2017. Okay. Have you taken any trips outside the U.S. in the last five years? No, I didn't. Okay. Where do you currently live? 8211 West Main Street, Corning, Arizona. Where else have you lived the last five years? I have been living at the same address since last five years. Do you still live in the same place since you've applied for citizenship? Yes. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? No. Where do your parents live now? In the Philippines. Okay. How did you become a lawful permanent resident? Through a petition for alien relative. Are you currently single, married, divorced, or widowed? I am single. Okay. Have you had any previous marriages? No. Now we will go over your N-400 application. If you do not understand a question, feel free to ask me to repeat it. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, of course. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you understand what oath of allegiance is? A promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, of course. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, of course. Do you understand what civilian direction means? The guidance by non-military personnel. Okay. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, of course. 
Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No, officer. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state that I am a U.S. citizen. Do you now have, or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is hereditary title? A royal title, such as prince or princess. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense, for which you were not arrested? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No, never. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States, or in any other location in the world? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing? or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What is non-U.S. resident? A person who does not live in the U.S. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, never. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you understand the meaning of have you ever? In my lifetime. Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, never. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What is alimony? Pay money to an ex-spouse after a divorce, as per court order. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings including administratively closed proceedings currently pending against you? No. 
Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? No. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. What is genocide? To kill a whole race. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, never. Did you ever sell, give or provide weapons to any person, or help another person to sell, give or provide weapons to any person? No, never. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No, never. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in an insurgent organization? No. What is insurgent organization? A group who fights against a government. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a militia? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. What is public benefit? Government programs that provide assistance to the public. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No, never. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does it mean to avoid being drafted? To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No, never. Do you understand the meaning of cited? Given a ticket by the police. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is immigration benefit? An advantage that is related to immigration. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? 
No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or gain immigration benefits in the United States? No, never. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the reading and writing portions to test your ability to read and write English. First, we'll start with the reading portion. Please look at the tablet in front of you and read the sentence out loud for me. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. Okay? Okay. Okay. Please read this sentence. Who was George Washington? Correct. Congratulations. You have passed your reading test. Wow. Thank you, officer. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the writing portion. I want you to write the sentence down on the tablet that I'm going to say out loud. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. Okay? Okay. Okay. Please write this sentence. George Washington was the first president. Would you please say that once again? Okay. Please write this sentence. George Washington was the first president. Sorry, I cannot write this. Please ask me another one. Okay. Please write this sentence. Alaska is the largest state. Good. Congratulations. You have passed your writing test. Thank you, officer. Now we will start with the civics test. In the civics portion, I will ask you up to 10 questions. However, if you answer 6 correctly, I will stop. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Would you please say that once again? Okay. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Very good. Your answer is correct. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. Great job. You passed the civics test. Congratulations. You have passed the interview. Thank you, officer.